Hey, what's up everybody? Trapper with Jinx here. Welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to teach you how to construct a slide wire. So you got your new traps. And uh, we're going to do some coon trapping, some beaver trapping, some muskrat trapping. And maybe you want to do use it as a drowner. You can do that. Maybe you want to use it as a slide wire. Meaning we're going to catch the animal in one spot and slide him over to another spot. Uh, very effective set. Uh, and it does have its place on the line. So, anyways, before I get to the video, I uh, gotta take a little, little, uh, little survey from you. I'd like to put together some videos, maybe on Friday, start cutting out some video, some fishing videos, getting a little more consistent on about, on uh, how I post my videos, so that you get get some fresh something fresh every once in a while. And uh, so, be looking for that maybe on Fridays. I'll kick out some fishing videos, and it might be something good enough to look into. So. Anyways, check it out. It'll be kind of cool. And uh, but for the meantime, you clicked on uh, constructing this, and uh, it's gonna be cool. So, anyways, I'm glad you clicked on it, and here we go. Alright, so you got your brand new trap. Today we're going to be using a double long spring. This is bad boy right here. And uh, I like the Sleepy Creeks, but that's just my personal opinion. It doesn't really matter. Um, going to have a bunch of grease on them, of course. You can get the grease off. But uh, we go from just catching them and holding them to now we want to use a slide wire. So, slide wires. Here's the finished products. If you check it out, i got a whole bunch of them right in here. I like to, they're kind of nice and neat and organized. I like to put the, uh, oh, I forget what they're called, split rings on the top. You can see it. And then I, I uh, wrap the core, the wire around, the cable around the side. And they're just kind of nice and neat, ready to go. So I grab a bunch of them whenever I want. Usually when I'm running a, a coon trapping line, I might want to, uh, two things, two things. I might want to either drown that coon or put him in the water away from my set. What that's going to do is it's going to enable me to catch him in one spot, move him over. After I do my dispatch, then I can move my trap back over. I don't have to re-dig out that pocket set. Uh, makes it super clean, so to speak. Um, Rebait that sucker really easy and uh, move on. Another thing is that if you're in a theft area where you're having problems with people taking your stuff, messing with your stuff, or maybe you just don't want them seeing it, you can catch it, move it over five feet, however long you want to, maybe 10 feet, whatever your cable desires, and then um, that way you don't have to worry so much about theft. So that's kind of the nice thing about uh, either sliding them or drowning them. And I know there's kind of a little bit of a issue with people and, and there's kind of a, a debate on drowning uh, raccoons or beavers or whatever it is but here's the thing and I'm and I don't want to get into this and please don't comment about it uh, it's not gonna be a debate so uh, drowning is listed as a humane source of, uh, of euthanasia so NUCOA National Wildlife Control Operators Association says it's, it's humane I'm gonna go with that um, it will be kind of nice and handy because uh, your fur will be floating I got a couple of pictures for you. So I'm going to put those in now. All right, those are pictures of uh, what a slide wire set looks like. So it'll be really cool. Um, here we go. So here is the uh, finished product. Got the uh, the trap. I'm going to drag it over here to this gravel so you can see a little bit better. So I got the trap with the stake what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let's just pretend for a moment i've got a pocket set i'm gonna catch him here and then over here we're gonna put maybe a piece of rebar you can sometimes you can make these to where you can attach those to a log and then slide him from here to there whether that be to drown him or just to move him it's up to you but with the way the the locking mechanism works when it connects the cable they can go one way 
see how it's going this way but they can't they can't go back so I'm gonna show you that with my feet hopefully you can see that I'm going this way but then I can't go back that is what the sliding mechanism is for and why I'm producing this for you so that see how I got to the end of the cable here and uh, I'm gonna try it hold on a second trying to get it to go back see if I went all the way to the end of the cable and then I can't go back that's what the slide board is for it's real simple on this one here I'm using a uh, an L it's an L, L fastener and they go this way you can see how it's longer on this side they go this way you can do it with a uh, a universal swivel if you don't have one of these um, I like I happen to like the L ones they just happen to work pretty good but today I'm going to show you how to do it like my setup you can do it with this universal swivel you're going to put the cable right here right on this back end and you would go this way with it you go that way with it and then they can't go back but if you happen to have these uh, I got a new trap and actually put them on the, the new, the new uh, Sleepy Creeks. So this is a brand new trap. And uh, you can put your stake in here and just hold him. Or you can use that little L hook for this purpose. So anyways, I'm going to show that to you. And uh, we're going to get started right now. Okay, after spending about an eternity looking for the cable cutters, didn't find them. So gonna use a pair of tin snips today instead um, you know it's like we have teenage kids it works out that way but hey uh, so you need cable cutters uh, you're gonna need an S hook tool and a J hook um, that's my S hook tool J hook would be no, there's my S hook tool there's my J hook you're gonna need aluminum ferrule stops it's these right here you can buy these in these types of packages at your trapper supply company uh, another thing is you're gonna need your cable so I usually buy like a giant spool of cable uh, you can buy it in whatever lengths a lot of times and they'll cut it for you so which which is why I needed the cutters but uh, it's aircraft cable it's really super tight it works awesome went to the uh, hardware store oh there's my there's more of my ferrules that's great i'm getting older that's how it works uh i went to the hardware store and i bought my steaks got like a whole package of these steaks and uh first stop so real simple it's not terribly expensive and um i'm gonna show you the first step so we're gonna go with about hmm, i didn't measure it probably should have a good five to seven feet in length so you can see where it starts and where I'm gonna finish I'm gonna unravel it for you real quick and I'm gonna cut that in that length all right so there's the length that I went with went ahead and cut it pulled it off the spool and then all we're going to do is we're going to put a hole we're going to drill a hole right in here with a five inch five eight inch drill bit and here's what the uh that's going to look like it's going to go in right there real simple i like to put this on the top if you want to put a little extra space in between there for a rebar stake that'll work well you might find out that uh you're in uh clay type soil and this isn't going to work good for you you could actually uh, stake that with a rebar stake if you wanted to uh, as well so however you want to do is we're just going to drill a hole in our stake to put the wire through and then we're going to put the ferrules on the end that'll be our first project piece Cool. Now that that's done, it's real simple. I'm gonna put my wire through the hole that I just created. 
actually before I do that I'm gonna put the ferrule in just like that now I'm gonna go through and connect it right here like this there you go just like that now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hammer that out so this is nice and flat one thing that I don't I try not to do is leave extra cable in the end because I found out that it's kind of hard on your gloves just a little trick a little little secret on the side but uh, I have found that that wire can be hard on your gloves if you're not careful and you can crimp that too if, if you don't like to hammer it like this too go nice and solid just like that not going anywhere all right so from my new trap I usually like to take off these two links because I don't like a lot of chain this one's got an inline swivel which is kind of handy uh, and then I, I'll put I'll put a uh, a universal swivel right here and then I'll also put the uh, the L hook with the J hook you can use an S hook if you want but that's just my preference so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off there I'm gonna go ahead and put a universal swivel on that I like the crunch proofs they're the best and they have tons of J hooks I always keep a lot of J hooks around because I use the pogo system but um if you decided you wanted to I'll show you how to use instead of using an L L washer or an L slide wire that's what that was remember you can use this now remember it goes in this back piece right here so it would if I wanted to go this direction I would go that way and then it would not you can see it won't go backwards so the universal swivels will work I just uh, I just prefer the L for some reason. It's just what I like to do. So I'm gonna hook on my I'm gonna hook on my chain. And then the other way. Is gonna be my setup from here. There you go. So that way, it it could still move right in through here, and they'll still they'll still slide down that wire. Um, just the setup that I kind of like. You could you don't have to do it that way. You could put an S hook, an S hook from here to here would be fine too. But that's how I'm going with right now. All right, so here is the uh, the important part of the whole aspect. Uh, here's our stake end that would be from the bank, and this is going to be on the deep end. Now, what you could do once you attach it, and I'll show you this real quick, is if you wanted to leave this end right here open, you can, and you would crimp this end here. And what that would do is that would enable you, if you wanted to, to hook it onto a log or something. Uh, you would open it like this. Just like that. You would slide your trap underneath it. Hook it onto your log and tie it like that. Uh, just an idea for, for you if you want. What I like to do is I'm going to hook on a ring if I can find it I have a bunch of them here I'm gonna hook on a split ring on the end of that and that's gonna hold my stake this is how I like to roll uh, or I could just go like this and put my stake down the ground as well so before I do that I'm gonna make sure that I get this correct hopefully this is the end that's going this way so I'm gonna hook this in And then I'm gonna attach this, just like this. And then I'm gonna hammer it down.
Crunch Okay, so here's those swivels. I was talking about the MB Crunch Proofs, Universal Swivels. Uh, you get those at any Trapper Supply company. Here's the split ring we're going with. So I'm going to put that on the end here, just like that. And that'll also serve as a nice little tool to put that over the top and that way I can wrap those up nice and clean and neat. And uh, that's that. I'm going to go flatten that out real quick. There you go. Finished product. Not moving anywhere. Not going anywhere. And uh, that's it. All right, folks, all finished and uh, looking pretty good. Um, so as you can see, we've got our stake that we just connected onto the end. And we're going to put that on the, the bank. We're going to make our set. Uh, you're going to see me do that in the fall. The, the coon. Hold on a second. Bear with me, folks. Um, the coon will be... be caught two will be caught over here and then I can either put this in in the water I can put it up along the bank you just slide him down and then what he'll do is he'll go down that line he can't come back now remember that uh, very effective tool and I uh, hope you like that really how you want to when you get done is you just kind of slide it down to the end. What I like to do is I just kind of wrap it up real nice and neat like this. I hook the end of that piece right here to that end, which I'll probably have to saw that down a little bit just to get it. And then I wrap it around this, just like that ready to go pretty cool handy little device you'll definitely add a lot of fur to that and uh, try it out all right folks hope you liked that little episode how to construct a slide wire slash drowning wire to your raccoon trapping line your beaver trapping line your muskrat trapping line anything where you want to move animals from one spot to another try it it's gonna be awesome uh, come come fall, you're going to be wa watching my vids, you're going to be seeing some floating fur, you're going to be seeing some animals moved over, and uh, it works. So, hey, I hope you like that, I hope you use it, and I hope you're pumped about this trapping season, And because I am, and it's going to be super awesome. And uh, if you're new to the channel, click subscribe, otherwise hit that thumbs up. And hey, have a great day.